I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for EpiRock USA Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to talk about how to change the hydraulic oil on the FlexiRock DTH models, which includes the FlexiRock D60 and D65. Here on the cabin side of the machine, we have our hydraulic reservoir and our filler pump, which we'll be using for this operation. First thing we want to do is drain the hydraulic oil via the petcock on the bottom. You're going to drain into an approved bucket with a hose leading down to it so you can dispose of it safely. Down here on the bottom of the hydraulic tank, we have our ball valve and safety cap for the hydraulic oil. We'll remove the cap, attach a hose to drain it safely, then we'll open up the ball valve to drain the oil. Close the ball valve when it's all drained out and reattach a safety cap. Now that we've drained the hydraulic oil from the tank, we wanna change the hydraulic oil filters. To do this, we need to remove this panel right here, set it off to the side. Right here is our covers for the oil filters. We're going to remove the covers, remove the filters, replace them with the new filters, and reinstall and torque down the covers. Keep in mind that there's an O-ring on there to make sure it's seated properly. Depending upon what service level you're at, you may also need to replace the breather element for the hydraulic tank. To add oil to the hydraulic system, we'll take the hose that's supplied on the machine, remove the safety cap, make sure everything's clean here, and put it into our fresh oil bucket. We then pump and add enough oil so that we're full in the bottom sight glass and we can see oil in the top sight glass. That signifies that we have enough hydraulic oil in the system. If you need any further information on how to change hydraulic oil, on a FlexiRock D60 or D65, please contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer in your area.